Cleveland Bishop Nelson Perez is now officially the new Archbishop of Philadelphia, one of the highest posts in the Catholic Church in America. That installation mass took place this afternoon in Philadelphia, and News 5's John Kosick here. Now, John, transitions like this normally don't happen this fast, do and they? The bishop even talking about it today. This is literally one of the fastest transitions mm -hmm. that they've ever had here. It normally takes about two months for this turnaround to happen. This one happened in three and a half weeks. But the retiring Archbishop of Philadelphia asked the Pope that it take place before the start of Lent, which is next week. With all the ceremony befitting such an occasion, Archbishop Nelson Perez made his way into the Grand Cathedral Basilica of Saints Peter and Paul to be installed as the 10th Archbishop of Philadelphia, a place of worship whose construction was started more than a century and a half ago by the first American male saint, a church where two of the last three popes have prayed, a church where Archbishop Perez himself was ordained a priest, a church that is now his home. So how about that? Perez using his humor to address his new congregation and to thank the one that he was leaving. Only two and a half years ago, I got to Cleveland. They embraced me with incredible joy and incredible love. It's been two years and a half of just utter joy. And I, I love the people of Cleveland. They will always, always have a place in my heart. And, and I have to say what I said to them when I got there. Cleveland rocks. Cleveland rocks. He inherits a church in Philadelphia facing financial challenges and one hit hard by the church sexual abuse scandal. But he made his first homily about hope. And he shared the Cleveland story of his response recently when asked by a doctor at the Cleveland Clinic if given all that was happening in the world, if he still had any. And I said to this person, I said, listen, I gave my life to a faith that believes that a dead man rose from the dead. Yes, I have hope. For now, though, his old seat in Cleveland sits empty again. He told me before leaving, he offers this advice to the Pope. To give them the bishop that, that the Church of Cleveland needs at this particular time. And, and they know that. And, uh, and, pray to, and, and I call upon the faithful to pray for that. Uh, as soon as the Holy Father announces who's coming here, I'm going to call that guy and says, you are one lucky man. Oh, 58 Bishop Perez is the youngest Archbishop of Philadelphia in nearly 60 years. Five of his six predecessors were elevated to Cardinal, so expect to be hearing more from him. First of all, John, the fact that he said Cleveland rocks. I mean, <laughs> we were talking about him. He just seems like the kind of guy you just want to sit down, talk to, have a cup of coffee. He's a parish just, priest. He always nice. is that first. Not yeah. some apostolic, you know, right. this, this seminarian that... He talks to the people. Yes, he does. So now the question is, what happens with the diocese here? Uh, this, the Pope will name a replacement at, on his timetable. But in the meantime, it was called the Diocesan College of Consultors. I had to check. That. <laughs> they're going to be meeting later this week, and they're going to appoint a diocesan administrator, somebody from the diocese, mm -hmm. to run things until that actually happens. Wow. He misses Cleveland, and yeah. Cleveland misses We'll miss him, yes. Yeah, we yeah, definitely, definitely will. Mm -hmm. All right. Yep. Thank Thanks, you. John.